Tasty. We're coming up on Porsche. Whoa, that looks beautiful. What are you gonna do then? Going diving? Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Come to me, young. Coming in kind of fast with the boat there. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. My guy looks slightly autistic. Presley, how do you do? Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Bonarock, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working. Never knew his dad. That's unfortunate. Just so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Nice to know that everybody just fucking runs here. Ah, I'm beating you. <laughs> Never mind. And here we are. Fuck. Your workshop. Oh, it's such a glorious this piece of shit. You are not kidding. Looks hey, he has the reverse Hitler mustache thing going on. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. <laughs> so like, here's the potential of it. This is what it looks like now. <laughs> uh, Matthew, when you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look much, <laughs> it might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. Yeah, that's that's all you really need. You can live in a fucking burnt down house that still has remnants of a fucking roof <laughs> with that fucking mindset. <laughs> I have left my workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy. Pa. Yeah. I'm sure about that. And that's why you fucking... That's why he was never around, Pa, because I'm your pride and joy. Here's the workshop handbook of your pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. Peach Plaza. Porsche. God. All right, as much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you'll need to prove your worth through a couple of t R Got it. Oh my f <laughs> Anyway. Okay. I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Okay, I have to meet Presley at the uh at the thing. At the thing with the stuff and we do shit. Yeah, I'm jumping. Hey, it's a kitty. Holy fuck, that cat's fat as shit. Huh, for a stray cat, you eat very well, you fucking fat cunt. Hey, look, it's Elizabeth Warren. Yeah, I inherited a piece of shit. Thanks for noticing. Is that a fucking pig? That pig just went through a door. Okay, then. I have just seen it all. This guy is over here a fucking attacking a tree. What did that tree ever do to you, Django? Whereas if you're anything like Django Unchained, I, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna shut my mouth. Nice to see you. How are you settling in? Uh, well. Good, good. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. Thanks. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. That guy over there is quite flamboyant. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. Um, make them with what? You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the Total Tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your paws with one in your yard, so check and see if that one... Well... If I need all that shit to make these items, how am I going to get those said items without a pickaxe or an axe? Uh, is this it? Oh, here we go. Okay, wood is two gold. 
How much wood do I fucking need? Let's start out with five. Wait, how do I... How do I buy shit? Let's start out with five. Let's, uh, just buy five of each of these. Now I can probably... Go back to the workshop and make this shit now. We need this shit. I need to bring him a pickaxe too, so I need... So, five and eight. So, I need 13 pieces of that. And 13 pieces of stone. So it looks like we're running back to the fucking market. To buy some more of this shit. This is fucking ridiculous. I mean, I can't just go punching a fucking tree. This isn't Minecraft. See? You can't do that. This game's realistic, man. This game's realistic as fuck. Did I seriously just gather some stone off the fucking ground? I feel like a fucking idiot. Alright, we need to craft a simple axe. And a pickaxe. Okay, got your tools so you can take them from me. That way I have nothing I can fucking use. Excellent quality. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your park kept a very detailed account of the things he made. Okay, make a stone furnace now. Oh, at least he was kind enough to let me keep the shit, you know. Getting so much stone, man. Like, I seriously feel like an idiot for wasting all my gold on that. Like, I knew this here was a gathering type game, but... I mean, he did mention that I had to, uh... Or, I, I could, uh, buy the stuff. So, you know, that's what I did. I bought the stuff. Being a stone furnace, I'm almost positive it's gonna cost a lot of raw materials to do this shit. I have to assemble this? Oh, I need wood. Oh, I need way more wood. Shit. Hey, tree, I gotta ask you a question. Stupid fucking pun. Okay, I need some stone. I need a... What? A stone stool. What? Okay, a stone stool. Let's craft that first. Now... Let's make the furnace. Place that. And we need the, uh, the stone stool. So, let's put that there. Yay, I did it. <laughs> he just picks up the whole fucking furnace. Let's put it there. Whatever. Let's go and talk to the, uh, the master of disaster. The man with the plan. Hell yeah! Got myself a builder license. I am now a fucking valued member of society now. Whoa! Alright, I have to take this to the mayor's office. You know, just enter in the. M oh no. Well, we do have to sleep after all. Who is this guy? Jesus Christ, he's massive. His arms are bigger than my whole entire character. Alright, we still haven't eaten anything. I guess food is not an option. Let's go to town. Let's get our, uh, certificate registered. Cause that's stuff that we gots to do, man. Nah, I mean. Well, I got two hours to kill, apparently. So I just wasted my time on that. I didn't look at the fucking clock. God, that cat is massive. So let's just uh, collect some resources. These here look like they, they uh, recover every single day. Okay, let's go ahead and fix our house real quick because it said it was open up until uh, 1800 hours. So let's go ahead and fix our house. There we go. That way he won't be saying that, oh, this house looks like shit. I live in a shithole. All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. Wasn't well, that just fantastic? What do you do about this shit on the walls, huh? We do about that. So I think we're ready to get our certificate now. God, why does everybody have the reverse Hitler going on? You must be the new builder. I'm Gale, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. Is that so? I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? Uh... 
What is the name of my workshop, huh? Well, I didn't think of this. There we go. Slob Nobbles. That is the name of our workshop. Slob Nobbles. Yes. Slob Nobbles. Builder License. Workshop. Slob Nobbles. Builder. Matthew. Birthday. Unknown. Officially, I was never born. Nice name. There. Your registration is complete. <laughs> nice name. <laughs> Thank you. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> and, uh, I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. All right. I'm a builder now. Whoa. Yeah, I'm a builder. So now we have to run to uh, Presley, the other guy with the reverse Hitler going on. And uh, we have to show him our uh, our registration. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. I'm sure he would have, even though he was never around during my fucking childhood. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. Oh, okay, so we have like a fucking employee of the workshop type thing going on. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins, you already took one today. There are never too many commissions. Good day. What a That's piece funny. of shit. He's the owner of the current number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Prez, I got a job for you. Or not. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money. Well, Young here is up for the challenge. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. Um. Okay. You cannot pay a... What? This game just fucked me. I have a feeling this game's just gonna be one fucking massive goddamn grind fest. We're gonna need that copper ore. Oh, we found a chest. Cool. Got some salad sauce. <laughs> salad sauce. Looks like it's time to sleep again. Seems we're gonna be fucking doing that a lot, probably. But yeah, in all honesty, I think this game's kinda fun. Um, I can definitely see myself playing this for a while, uh, having some fun with it. It's a total fucking grind fest, which I don't really like games to where I have to grind all the time. But you know, it's a it's a fun little re, uh, relaxing type thing at times. Like it's it's very nice. The game looks very good, uh, especially on the highest settings like this. It looks pretty good. My character still looks autistic as fuck, but, you know, there's nothing you can really do about that. Some people are just born different. But yeah, I can uh, definitely see myself doing more videos on this. Yeah, show your love. 
if you want to see more of this. And until the next video, I'll see you guys next time.